Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over some SCP memes from the r slash dank memes from Site19 subreddit, so let's just jump into them. You see an SCP article that describes a typical monster that brutally kills people. I sleep. The article starts to focus on the ethics associated with harsh containment and how one can mitigate the stress that the object experiences. Intrigued. See... <laughs> I, uh, I tend to agree with this, just, I mean, I think most people would tend to agree with this, except for, like, a very select group of people who have a very specific and narrow, uh, idea of what they want from SCP articles. I think most people would agree that the more complex the uh, examination of the SCP itself, the better the article. Uh, the only real argument is, uh, is the problem that the SCP article goes into so much detail that there really isn't anywhere further for the story to go, which is never true. But I also could see people saying that, like, there's not a lot of story left to tell. But yeah, or it's difficult to find other ways to tell a story. But um, yeah, the ethics associated with harsh containment and how one can mitigate the stress that the object experiences. I mean, it's fun from the idea that if you can mitigate stress and you know lower the harshness of containment then you prevent future problems for yourself and uh, i think a lot of people miss that SAP fans arguing over which content creators should be making more money people who don't give a f and watch support both content people who aren't part of the offsite fandom what the f are they doing over there um i'm dead <laughs> I'm definitely part of this argument, I think, at this point. I mean, okay, so this is almost certainly, I would guess, maybe not, uh, a little bit about the SCP animated channels and maybe also a little bit about uh, the idea of off-site creators making money while on-site creators don't. Um, and technically, that's not true. Um First of all, on-site creators don't, but the wiki as a whole uh, has uh, been able to raise money based on their works. So the money has been created for the SCP wiki. It's not quite the same thing because it's not on an individual basis. And also, Wikidot makes money from the SCP wiki creators as well. Like... <laughs> People talk about how, like, uh, individual authors are like, how come I can't make money? Or not necessarily all individual authors, but I have had the conversation where it's like, how come you can make money off of SCP content? But I, the guy who actually creates the original stuff, not derivative work, like this is a derivative work. Um, what, what all of us do on YouTube is derivative. Generally, I mean, I've written original stuff for YouTube and a lot of uh, other people have, too. But the idea is that, you know, the original content is on the wiki. I don't necessarily agree that that's, uh, that's necessarily uh, number one, but people on the wiki would, obviously. Um, but here's the thing. Wikidot does, because they run ads on Wikidot. If you own a Wikidot account, like an, uh, the best Wikidot account, they're not supposed to run ads on the wiki but the scp wiki has a special deal with wikidot where they're allowed to run uh advertisements on it for people who aren't logged in which is most of the people that visit the site and when i say most i mean a vast majority probably i don't know the numbers exactly but i would bet 95 plus percent of their traffic is from people who are not logged into the wiki and they get ads Wikidot and <laughs> by extension, um, the creators on Wikidot are making a ton of money. They're just not getting a chance to see any of that money. And I don't know how much money these people are making because there's a lot of hosting costs associated with it. But I can't imagine there's not a profit going on. This Wikidot's been around for forever. They, they would not continue to do what they're doing if they weren't making money at it. I think the authors on the wiki, it would be nice if the authors on the wiki could get money for what they did. I even briefly considered it before I realized how small the margins are, like it's not a lot of money in YouTube. I briefly considered the idea that if I ever covered an SCP article that I would, uh, 
set aside some of the ad revenue for the author of the article that I'm covering, but the money is so, so tiny that it's, it's impossible for me to do that right now, maybe in the future. I don't know, but yeah, this is the world we live in and you just kind of, and there's not a lot of money to go around to be honest with you. It's a complicated thing. Maybe I should do a whole video about this. I really should. This has already taken up several minutes. <laughs> Moving on. DJ Cactus, when he sees an empty X935 or X812 slot, is for me. Um, the thing is, uh, the only reason I include this, I, I mean, I've noticed that Cactus has a propensity for certain numbers. I also have a propensity. I think a lot of authors do that. Um, I pick anything that ends with 13 in it or if I can. So you see, if you look at my author page, you'll see a lot of things that either end in 13, contain the numbers one and three in there somewhere, or uh, sum to 13. There's very few, I think. Uh, let me think. Two, four, five doesn't. And that's just because it was a series one article slot that I managed to snatch up. And I think... I had like a little short period where I just didn't care. So 2986 and 2987, uh, which I wrote, are also not some or a, uh, ending in. And I think that's it. I, I can't think of anything else. And I have a lot of SCPs written. <laughs> I was just like, for a little while, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not doing this anymore. And I picked out 2986 or 2987. I can't remember which one came first. And I was like, all right, moving on to the next number. And I just moved on to the next number for the next one. Uh <laughs> And then I changed my mind and went back to doing what I was doing before. It It is what it is. All right. Memes featuring main series SCPs and highly upvoted or famous tales. Dr. Sumerian. Memes featuring obscure tales, international SCPs, and GOI formats. Well, first of all, I don't read international SCPs. Uh, I do read uh, GOI formats. Uh, and sometimes I would include them, I'm sure, if they were Marshall Carter and Dark. Um, and then Obscure Tales. Well, I mean, I mean, what am I going to do? What, what? I would love to feature a tale that's rated at like plus four that I think is very good. And maybe I'll do our, uh, videos on those in the future. But like a meme, nobody's going to be nobody cares about those and nobody does them like almost no one does them anyway. Also, video and GIF format memes. So there was a video meme um, that was because because uh, Yasi puts them in the list. GIF and uh, video format memes. Uh, the problem is, is that you can't click them and just save them easily. I that I know of. There's like other websites you can go to. They're like, put the link in here and we'll save the video. And then they save the video and then you it's a whole additional process. Whereas for an image, I can just click it, right click, save as, and then go. I, I legitimately, when I saw this, I had already saved or at least attempted to save a video meme. And it just like you right click it and all it does is play. You, I, I can't save the file. So I don't. I don't, you know, I just, I, I, I didn't include it because I couldn't figure, I mean, it's not that I couldn't figure it out, it's just it was going to take too long for me to get it saved. I don't really have any strong opinions on anything, people on this sub. There's nothing wrong with an SCP based on Among Us, people on this sub. I mean, it. what's, let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. When do people have to be like angry that other people, I've never understood this. And I'm sure I'm guilty of it from time to time, to be honest with you. But like when I spot it and actually am cognizant of it, it it boggles my mind. Why do you care what other people enjoy? You, you, you guys always act like I feel like I've done this before. I feel like I've, this meme has been done before. I know this meme. I'm, I'm this exact G, not necessarily this exact version of it, but UIU. The Foundation, GOC, literally anyone else. I feel like this has been done before. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have included it, but like, yeah. Exclusionary site, 06 Researcher. And this is our absolute exclusion artist, Pietro Wilson, during employee orientation. Oh, cool. What does it do? It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Wait, let's see if I can do a Mickey Mouse voice. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. No. 
It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Something along those lines. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Who cares? The share like license is basically I'm a medic agent that spreads through any medium that contains already infected media. Patient is absolutely effing insane. I, I think what the word you're looking for here is viral rather than mimetic. I mean, you even use the word infected. Uh, mimetics, it's not exactly what you're thinking of here. It's, it's a viral spread. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.